Good evening, everyone. And as we listen to the sounds of the swirling dishwasher of knowledge, I thought it'd be a good idea to let you see this big plane kits, one in 70 seconds scale, Bombardier, Bombardier, CRJ 900. Now I've decided to bite the bullet and to sort my transport command fleet out for my what if uh, air force and sort out the C-17, the A-400 tanker. And basically it's a year when there's lots of platforms retiring for my what if air force. But anyway, you might be building this as a proper modeler and building one of these schemes. So this is a CRG, CRJ. 900 now i couldn't find a decent um sort of idea of the size of this kit and i just want to present this to you so if you are a proper modeler you can make an informed decision now i'll be using this as a sort of um communication aircraft so taking um injured uh forces personnel around the island chain and back to my what if uh, malagasy uh, state so anyway, if you are building it properly, it comes with some decals for uh, these aircraft. Um, I know absolutely nothing about civil aviation. So one is an American Eagle and one is a Air Canada one. Now, um, let's get an idea of the size. So the CRJ-900 is like a stretched CRJ-700. They keep getting bigger and bigger. I think this is around 90 people, I might be wrong. Um, and this is made in Ukraine. So to be fair, they've done quite well to still be producing a kit of this quality with this good plastic um, hats off to them. Um, so in terms of the length, um, adding in a little bit extra for the radar, you're looking at 30 centimeters to there. And let's slide it along. So about 46 to 47 centimetres in length. And um, that's the size of this aircraft. So you get the two um, fuselage halves. You get the two fuselage rears. You get uh, the wing pieces here, uh, engine pieces here. Now I've cut some of these off the sprues. Um, and then you get the um, underbelly, uh, cockpit and um, the things that go under the wings, flap things. Uh, sorry, I'm not an engineer. Uh, tail pieces and uh, bits for the fuselage and interior. Um, then you get uh, some little, um, I don't know what I call it, clear plastic parts. Sorry, my brain's not working today. And you get the um, window pieces, which are nice because you can put them on after you've sprayed the model, which is fantastic. What a great idea. There's the little ray dome, which goes on there. Um, and there's another window piece there. You also get some superbly cast uh, resin engines, which you'll need to use a saw to cut off and a saw to cut around those bits. Now, I, I hate working with resin because you have to saw it, but the um, quality of the pieces is good. You obviously get your instruction booklet uh, with paint masks, which is a great idea. And you can, by the looks of it, these are all little windows. So you could use the paint masks for the windows um, and uh, build it that way. Then you get your cockpit um, canopy and some etch for people that like etched things. Um, it all comes in little bags. Now, what surprised me about the CRJ900 uh, is this is a very long aeroplane um, for a quite tiny wing. So I'll show you a comparison of the wing with the uh, Sova M which I think is Ukrainian. Again, I might be wrong. I think they're Ukrainian as well. But the Sova M A model um, G550 wing, uh, look how big it is. Now, the difference in range between these two jets is phenomenal. Um, this one has probably treble the range, the G550. Um, so the CRJ900, I'll be using sort of on smaller routes. Um, and basically it'll be used like the old Comets were for the RAF Transport Command back in the day. But here you go, that's just an idea of what you get uh, in the kit. Overall, I've built lots of these 
a bit smaller, like the G550s. And big plane kits, I like the way they've done the windows on this because the Sova M windows are not good. Um, they're real pain and the A model ones, they don't fit well. So I'm hoping that this um, makes it a lot easier to build. Uh, the molding is of high quality. There's a few bits to clean up here, just on the top, but I'll be able to clean those up. And yeah, I'm looking forward to building this. I'm hoping it's going to be trouble free. And um, yeah, I mean, the detail on the engines is, is nice. Um, and you've got like little bits inside and those resin bits. So, so yeah, I mean, uh, wish me luck. Take care, bye.